Definition of lead or deposits. Lead or deposits are geological formations where significant concentrations of lead minerals accumulate over time through various geological processes. These deposits typically consist of minerals such as galena, lead sulfide, cerussite, lead carbonate, and anglicite, lead sulfate. Lead or deposits are often found in association with other minerals, including zinc, silver, and copper ores, as they share similar geological environments and are often formed through similar processes. These deposits can occur in a variety of geological settings, including sedimentary, igneous, and metamorphic environments. In sedimentary environments, lead ores are commonly found in sedimentary rocks such as limestone, dolomite, and shale, where they form through processes like sedimentary exhalative, CDEX, or Mississippi Valley type MVT, mineralization. In igneous environments, lead ores can occur in association with intrusive rocks such as granites and volcanic rocks, where they are often associated with hydrothermal fluids and magmatic processes. Metamorphic environments can also host lead or deposits, especially in regions where pre-existing lead-rich rocks undergo metamorphism, leading to the concentration of lead minerals. The formation of lead or deposits typically involves several stages. It often begins with the release of lead-bearing fluids, either from magmatic sources, hydrothermal systems, or through weathering and erosion of pre-existing lead-rich rocks. These fluids migrate through the Earth's crust, carrying dissolved lead and other associated minerals. As the fluids encounter suitable host rocks or geological structures, such as faults, fractures, or porous sedimentary beds, they may precipitate lead minerals, forming or deposits. The size and grade of lead or deposits can vary widely, ranging from small, localized occurrences to large, economically significant deposits. Factors such as the geological setting, the duration of mineralizing processes, and the availability of suitable host rocks can influence the size and quality of lead or deposits. Economic considerations also play a crucial role in determining the viability of mining and extracting lead from these deposits, including factors such as ore grade, accessibility, and market demand. Lead or deposits have been important sources of lead throughout human history, with archaeological evidence indicating the use of lead dating back thousands of years. Today, lead remains a valuable industrial metal, with applications in construction, batteries, electronics, and various other sectors. However, the mining and processing of lead ores can also pose environmental and health risks due to the release of lead and other potentially harmful substances into the environment. Therefore, the exploration, extraction, and processing of lead or deposits require careful planning, management, and environmental stewardship to minimize their impact on ecosystems and human health. Formation of Lead or Deposits Lead or deposits form through complex geological processes that involve the interaction of various factors over long periods of time. These processes can occur in different geological settings and environments, leading to the formation of diverse types of lead or deposits. Below is a detailed explanation of the formation of lead or deposits. Source of lead Lead originates from a variety of sources within the Earth's crust. It is commonly found as a constituent element in various minerals, including galena, lead sulfide, cerussite, lead carbonate, and anglicite, lead sulfate. These minerals can occur in different types of rocks, such as sedimentary, igneous, and metamorphic rocks. Mobilization of lead The process of lead mobilization involves the release of lead from its source rocks or minerals into fluids. This can occur through several mechanisms. Magmatic processes, lead may be released during the formation and cooling of magma within the Earth's crust. As magma intrudes into surrounding rocks, it can dissolve and incorporate lead-bearing minerals, which may later be released into hydrothermal fluids. Hydrothermal activity, hydrothermal fluids, which are hot, mineral-rich solutions circulating within the Earth's crust, play a significant role in transporting and concentrating lead. These fluids can originate from various sources, including magmatic activity, groundwater circulation, or seawater interaction. Weathering and erosion, 
physical and chemical weathering of lead-bearing rocks and minerals can release lead into surface and groundwater systems. Erosion processes then transport these dissolved ions to downstream locations. Transport of lead-bearing fluids Once mobilized, lead-bearing fluids migrate through the Earth's crust, often along pathways such as faults, fractures, and porous rock formations. The movement of these fluids is influenced by factors such as pressure, temperature, and the presence of geological structures. Deposition and Concentration As lead-bearing fluids migrate through the subsurface, they encounter conditions that promote the precipitation and concentration of lead minerals. This can occur through several processes. Cooling and mixing, changes in temperature or the mixing of different fluid types can cause lead minerals to precipitate out of solution and accumulate in fractures or pore spaces within rocks. Chemical reactions, interaction between lead-bearing fluids and host rocks can lead to the formation of new minerals, including lead sulfides, carbonates, and sulfates, which are more stable under certain conditions. Redox reactions, variations in the oxidation state of lead and other elements in the fluid can influence the precipitation of lead minerals. Reducing conditions, where oxygen is scarce, are often favorable for the formation of lead sulfide minerals like galena. Geological setting and tectonic processes. The formation of lead or deposits is closely linked to the geological setting and tectonic history of a region. Certain tectonic environments, such as convergent plate boundaries, rift zones, and continental margins, are more conducive to the formation of ore deposits due to the presence of magmatic activity, hydrothermal circulation, and deformation processes. Geological time scale Lead ore deposits typically form over long periods of geological time, ranging from millions to hundreds of millions of years. The accumulation and concentration of lead minerals require sufficient time for the various geological processes to occur and for ore bodies to reach economically viable sizes. Overall, the formation of lead ore deposits is a complex interplay of geological, geochemical, and hydrothermal processes occurring over vast spans of time. Understanding these processes is essential for exploring and exploiting lead resources sustainably while minimizing environmental impacts. Properties of lead or deposits Lead or deposits exhibit a variety of properties that are important for understanding their geological characteristics, economic potential, and environmental implications. Here's a more detailed exploration of these properties. Mineral composition Lead or deposits are primarily composed of lead-bearing minerals such as galena, lead sulfide, cerussite, lead carbonate, and anglicite, lead sulfate. These minerals may occur in varying proportions depending on the specific deposit and its geological history. Other associated minerals commonly found in lead or deposits include sphalerite, zinc sulfide, chalcopyrite, copper iron sulfide, and silver-bearing minerals like tetrahedrite. Ore grade. The ore grade refers to the concentration of lead and associated minerals within the deposit. Higher ore grades typically indicate richer deposits with more economically viable concentrations of lead. Ore grades can vary widely among different deposits and even within the same deposit, influencing the feasibility and profitability of mining operations. Geological setting. Lead ore deposits occur in diverse geological settings including sedimentary, igneous, and metamorphic environments. The geological setting provides valuable insights into the origin and formation of the deposit, as well as its spatial distribution and structural controls. Common geological settings for lead or deposits include sedimentary exhalative deposits, Mississippi Valley-type deposits, and hydrothermal veins associated with igneous intrusions. Morphology and Geometry Lead or deposits exhibit a variety of morphological and geometrical characteristics, ranging from tabular beds and lenses to irregular veins and stockworks. The morphology and geometry of a deposit are influenced by factors such as the depositional environment, tectonic history, and structural controls. Understanding the morphology and geometry of a deposit is essential for resource estimation, mine planning, and exploration targeting.
host rocks and alteration. Lead or deposits are typically hosted within specific rock types, which can provide valuable clues about their formation and geological context. Common host rocks for lead deposits include sedimentary rocks such as limestone, dolomite, and shale, as well as igneous rocks like granites and volcanic rocks. Alteration processes, such as silicification, carbonate replacement, and sulfide mineralization, may also accompany the formation of lead or deposits, affecting the mineral assemblage and geochemical signatures. Geochemical signatures Geochemical analysis of lead or deposits can reveal important information about their origin, source fluids, and depositional history. Isotopic compositions of lead and associated elements, such as sulfur and oxygen, can provide insights into the sources of lead and the processes involved in its mobilization and deposition. Geochemical signatures may also be used for fingerprinting and correlation studies to trace the spatial extent and genetic relationships between different ore bodies. Economic Considerations The economic viability of lead ore deposits depends on factors such as ore grade, mineralogy, deposit size, accessibility, infrastructure, and market demand. High-grade deposits with favorable metallurgical characteristics and proximity to transportation routes are generally more attractive for commercial exploitation. Economic considerations also include environmental and regulatory factors, as well as the cost of extraction and processing technologies. Environmental Impacts Lead or mining and processing can have significant environmental impacts, including habitat destruction, water and soil contamination, and health risks to human populations and wildlife. The release of lead and associated heavy metals during mining, milling, and smelting operations can result in long-term environmental degradation and ecosystem disruption. Sustainable mining practices, environmental monitoring, and remediation efforts are essential for mitigating these impacts and promoting responsible resource development. By understanding the properties of lead or deposits, geologists, mining engineers, and environmental scientists can effectively assess their geological characteristics, economic potential, and environmental risks, guiding responsible resource management and sustainable development strategies.